It's always a pleasure to come to March, meeting now the Global Physics Summit. A lot has stayed the same, but a lot has changed, and nowhere is that change more apparent than here on the exposition floor. So we've come to talk to a couple of companies to find out what's going on. So why is Microsoft here at APS? For us, it's similar to you know everyone at the conference. We're Really excited to hear the latest and greatest from everyone in quantum and the scientific community. Um, also excited to share our most recent results. Lots of awesome progress recently from our team. Uh, we have some nice recent results that are showing for the first time some quantification of um, error rates uh, and early measurements of this quantum processor. Tell us a little bit about Blue Force and what it is that you're showing here today. So Blue Force is a cryogenic company. We are serving customers from 80 Kelvin all the way down to a few millikelvin. Big part of our customers are doing quantum technology and that's sort of where we sort of work hard to sort of able to serve the cryogenics for that. Tell us a little bit about uh, what's going on here. What are you showing to the crowd here? All right, so at Quantum Machines, uh, we build and design the control systems for quantum computers. We're very excited to be here. This is the, probably the most important event for us of the year. This is a chance to really meet the entire community. I remember the first time quantum was sort of more popular. It's the first time in my scientific history where you have bouncers stopping old professors from coming in because it was full. <laughs> and this is around five years ago. And it really feels that like we're getting to the point where useful quantum computers are no longer a distant dream. The entire community is really excited by this. The problems in quantum are so hard that it's tough to imagine anyone solving them by themselves. Places like the ABS Global Physics Summit are a way for us to come together, share ideas, get feedback. APS has always been sort of the foundation of quantum technology. You have the new generation of physicists and researchers that needs to use technology. And you have sort of companies and startups here. So it's a really interesting ecosystem. It's become a very important place. 